all right so we have seen the test classes uh, what is test class how to write test classes and uh, what are the best practices that you have to maintain and uh, now if you look at my screen here uh, this is what the class that i had written right and this class had around 12 lines any guess why there are like 23 lines i can see here why it is showing only 12 lines hope you know about it right so because uh, you know as i told you right the test class doesn't count your space uh, the line gap, the brackets that you have given, the system dot debug, right? So that's why you have total 12 lines of solid code. And out of 12, we wrote uh, the this particular test class, right? And uh, when we ran the test class, it gives us all 12 li lines of code covered, right? That's why we got 100% uh, code covered. Now, this particular code is ready to move to your production. As I told you uh, in the in the beginning of this uh, particular video that uh, Salesforce required at least 75% of individual code coverage if you want to deploy this code and at the same time Salesforce need in your production org how much percentage overall 75% of overall code coverage. Now let me go to my Apex classes right I have like many Apex classes over here. And if I try to run all the tests now, what will happen? Whatever test classes I have in this particular org, it will start executing, right? And let's say I have 100 classes and for 100 classes, I have 100 test classes, which I don't have. All the test classes will run together. Whatever it fails, it will show you over here like this test class. If you see here, this is a standard Salesforce given class and it got failed. If you want to know more detail about it, you have to click on this, you get more data. So here you understand how many classes has been passed, how many test classes has been failed. Let me show you one more place. It's it's a very easy for a developer to you know check what all uh, what are the codes had been covered, not covered, and uh, stuff like that. So let me go to the developer console, guys. Developer console has a very easy way to identify your test coverage. Okay, if you go to this tab called test, you have this logs and test, right? If you go to this test tab, no. You get to see here all the test classes that you have ran so far. Let's say for an example, this test class somehow it got failed due to some reason, right? If you want to know more detail about it, click on this plus sign, click on this and double click. If you click on this now, you get to know like a detail about like where exactly the problem happened, right? Second thing is this right hand side overall code coverage. So guys, there are two ways you can actually get to see about the overall code coverage, right? One, you have to go to this Apex classes. You search here class and go to the apex classes here. Sorry, class. So here you get to see all the um, apex classes and the test coverage and all. And if you want to see in detail, right, you have to go to this developer console and you have something called overall code coverage over here in the corner. This gives you a clear idea which class has how many percentage of coverage, like right? this many apex classes I have the one that we created what is the name explain test classes right so explain let me just open a b c d e see this explain test classes now it has 100 percent coverage if you want to check that which line has been covered which line has not been covered right you just have to click on this this particular link here right here and if you click on this by by the way you you cannot see if you go to the classes and 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 from here if you try to open the test classes no uh like explain explain like let me just open this explain code uh mm, 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 this is the one right from this page you just can see how much coverage you have got but you cannot see which line is covered which line is not covered if you want to identify that you have to go to this developer console and you have to click on you have to double click on this class explain uh, test classes if you double click no this gives you a clear idea with uh, blue highlights that this line has been covered red highlights that this line has not been covered so the line which is not been covered you can go back to your test class and see what logic you can write in the test class so that it can go in your apex class and cover that red color line as well so your test class is all about you have to understand so you if you don't understand the apex class logic it's really difficult for you to write a test class. <clears throat> Sometimes what happened, right? We as a developer get into a project where the classes are not written by me, right? So it, you first have to understand the code in that Apex class. Then only once you understand the code of that Apex class, it would be easy for you to write a proper test class for that Apex class. 
correct so once you understand line by line all the logic this is very easy to write a test class for you the concept is very easy you just have to write uh, create the dummy data if you are dealing with the data in your apex class you have to create the dummy data in your test class if in case the the real data from the database has been used in your apex class and then you have to find out how can you make the test class uh, you know go to your apex class and check line by line for that very simple just call the method once you call the method test class will invoke the method and it will go and line by line it will check sometime what happened right there are a lot of you know if else um, blocks that we have to write in the apex code so it's very difficult uh, you know in the apex uh, in the test class method to go to your if and satisfy that logic and again at the same time go to the else and satisfy the same logic i agree what i'm saying what i'm saying is let's say you have a test class of 10 lines sorry apex class of 10 lines of code out of 10 line you have two if else if else if something is this then some two lines of code else under the else block you have again two lines of code so total four lines of code now from your test class you can only satisfy either the if conditions or the else conditions in this case you have to you might have to write uh, you might have to call the method twice okay from your test class and you have to make sure you satisfy the if logic and the else logic in two different transition right so this is how uh, you know line by line you can go and cover the lines right so cover the you know uh, test coverage you can do for each and every line so it's all about you have to understand the uh, logic written in the apex class and for that same you have to write another logic in the test class to uh cover that up again this is again another extra headache that we as a developer has to take it uh, even sometime it's uh, you know customer also don't understand like why developers are taking so much of time to write this piece of code i mean it's hard to justify that to our customer to our stakeholders right but this is how we have to explain like you know because salesforce is a cloud product it's not that you simply write an apex code and just deploy this right you have to write a unit testing classes uh, by the developer itself which will take another you know few hours of time uh, Um, so that expectation you as a developer or if you are a consultant you have to set it to your stakeholders right so that's all about test classes i hope uh, the basics of test class and how to write and all is very clear i'm going to give you this code uh, in a separate document so please uh, whatever code i am writing you please write the same code and try to experience the test class thing that i have shown you um uh, so the way we write a test class for the integrations like in the next module on no? integration is a very big chapter by the way so we'll try to create a separate module like <clears throat> 10 12 videos on integrations and i will explain like what to write how to write integration code the test class that you write for integration classes is little different so i'll try to create a separate video and try to explain like how we're going to write a uh, test classes for the integrations classes but more or less for apex class that's that's uh, more than enough for you if you understand and try to implement that test classes in your salesforce developer org right so that's it for today next uh, video we are going to watch um, something called batch apex by the way batch apex is a very very important topic for a developers because you know when you as a developer try to work for a enterprise level customers where the customer is dealing with million trillions of data you have to know how to write a batch all right so see you in the next video with a batch apex concept thank you very much